sure you can get yourself fired up about something. Good morning, everyone. It's Friday, and it feels so freaking awesome. Sunrise is beautiful today. It's actually up, so this might not be very nice of a view, but before it came up, the sky was totally pink, and it was so, so beautiful. So today, we're just heading into work and don't have too much on the agenda for the weekend, I think I mentioned yesterday. Um, just gonna enjoy the day I found myself this morning, just getting a little bit caught up in my thoughts and all the things that I wanted to do. And I said, you know what? Stop it. Just have fun with today. Because that's what you got today. So, that's what I'm doing, and I want to do a little bit more, did a little bit, oh, did a little bit of reading last night on some stock. The Motley Fool Investment Guide was like my first intro into investing, I think I may have said that already, and I was rereading some of their materials. And one of the things that they highlighted or one of their points was not to invest based on emotion. So I think that's kind of what I want to focus on is just the role of emotion and in investing and how to um, kind of eliminate the emotions around it. Anyway, I gotta get driving here, so have a great day. Loves, see you soon. Do what you wanna do. Uh-uh. You can do what you wanna do. Uh-uh. It's you. It's Friday afternoon. And I've been home from work for a little while, long enough to upload a uh, a vlog and to get ready to go for a run. So two days in a row, that's feeling pretty good. I was gonna just do yoga tonight, but I may try to do both. We'll see how I feel after the run. Um, yeah, I think running on Friday is just a really great way to kick the weekend off and I really can't think of a better way, so I'm doing it. Ran eight kilometers and my pace today was Five minutes and 31 seconds so that's a huge improvement from yesterday so that just kind of goes to show you or me don't feel too bad for having a slower pace because yesterday's I think was 551 and I was kind of like oh man I've regressed but obviously there are good running days and there are not great running days and that's just how running goes and most things in general so it's friday eve and it's oh i don't know what the temp is but it's really really nice out here and i just like the sounds you can almost like hear this slush and ice melting I saw two Canada geese earlier, too, on the other side of the bay. So, it's the beginning of Friday night. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is melt some Sensi. Actually, I did turn one on um, before I left, so hopefully that's 
he mean the smell of the varnish a little bit in the house or whatever <laughs> the coating is that Kurt's using to cover the hardwood floor. Anyway, the scent is Hemingway and it's a really good scent. It's almost like, it smells like it has some spices in it, like maybe some cinnamon and nutmeg. And it smells like you'd want to read a good book in it. Um, and Ernest Hemingway is just really intriguing to me, even though I've never read any of his books. <laughs> I did get to tour his um, estate one time and just getting to hear the story of his life and the most memorable things I think were you know he had this separate little house where he went to write in so he had his main house and then he had his writing quarters which was a separate and it was almost built like high up I can't remember what was supporting it but I do remember having to climb stairs to go to his writing area and there was a nice view his house is in the Florida Keys in Key West and he just had a bathroom in there I think and a writing area and that was kind of dreamy to me and still kind of is so that's one thing I'm definitely gonna do tonight is just build on this little comedy writing piece that I'm doing and um, I'm gonna journal as soon as I get in and have a shower and I want to listen to Laura's holy shift um, call from Monday she talks about owning power and stepping into power and I think that'll be a pretty good message. Um, yeah, and then I would like to edit a vlog so that I can maybe do one tomorrow, two on Saturday and two on Sunday, and do a little bit of B-School. So we'll see how it all goes down. Don't think I'm gonna be doing yoga, but who knows? We'll see where the night goes. Are we on live? We are. We are. <laughs> I missed Kurt's um, activity tonight. He finished. Oh, this looks a little bit blurry. There. Finished half of the last coat on the hardwood. And it looks awesome. And I just lit some candles and it's smelling a little bit risque because <laughs> apparently it's burning the hydrocarbons from the polyurethane which kind of puts rather than the candle scent in the air more of a burn scent but not even a burn like yeah like something's burning and it's not good we do have a couple windows open do you think that's okay for our lungs, hen? Yeah, this would have to the furnace is on. Or the oven, anything else. Do you want to talk to the vlog at all tonight, hen? Not really. You need to catch me when I'm fired up over us, so. So it's 9.19 and I haven't really done any of the things that I said I was going to do, um, but I did better. Kurt and I talked about our plans for the summer and they're huge, huge. As in the brick look portion tile that you can get right now at the Home Depot. And I did journal and shower. It is a high volume shower head, hun. Too bad the water supply is not high volume supply. Some exclusively to tune in. Locked up abroad from London is based on the popular television show. Well, it's been a good supply to us. The pressure, you mean? This allows a lot of the shower heads are metered back to save water. 
So it's like fact, some states, it's law. Like California, the, all the shower heads are metered back because they have a shortage of water. But this shower head's not. That's why I bought it. That was a good, good purchase decision, huh? Yeah. I wonder why they send this thing for women to me. You can catch tuna like that, huh? Oh, I will. Then we'd have some ah, ahi tuna. I will. It's tarpon. This is a cobia. That's a big, uh, I think that's a, uh, I'm trying to think what kind of jack that is. It's a big jack roll. Little shiitakes. Nice grouper. Not sure, but that's another type of jack. You need to have get this this color hook. Actually, they have nice things for women. Actually, I, it would be cool if it was half and half. They probably don't sell it half and half. I thought it was half and half.